Yo, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best competitive Fortnite settings in Chapter 3. I'm going to be giving you guys the most optimal and best settings. So if you do want the best optimal settings, make sure you watch the whole video. I'm going to be giving you guys a few in-game settings on Fortnite, and I'm going to be showing you guys a few settings outside of Fortnite. And before we get into the video, I did say that I was going to be giving away one battle pass, so here's the battle pass winner. His name is XD underscore BJ, so I am going to be adding him, but he is going to be getting his battle pass on Sunday because of the gifting system. I will be gifting more stuff in the future, so if you didn't win this battle pass or you want to be in the next one, make sure you're still subscribed with noties on. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and all of that other good stuff. And of course, if you do want to support me, all you have to do is use my code Whiteout in Item Shop. I do appreciate everyone using my code right now, and I do appreciate anyone else that's going to use it. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into today's video. So if you aren't already, you need to be using full screen. Full screen reduces input delay compared to windowed full screen and windowed. And it even says that the game will run slightly faster. Even if you're using stretch res, full screen is your best option. I cap my FPS at 240 since I have a 240Hz monitor. Just a heads up, do not cap your FPS above 240 if you have a 240Hz monitor. And don't cap your FPS to unlimited. Doing that will give you unstable frame rates during fights. If you're on something like 144Hz, cap your FPS to 165. There is nothing wrong with capping your FPS in more than the amount of hertz you get, but this is also going to help your game run faster. So if you're on a 120Hz monitor, cap your FPS to 144. If you're on a 144Hz monitor, cap your FPS to 165, and just keep on going like that. For my brightness, I do use 75%. You might think this is dark, but I do use Trident Noop 10. This does make your game a million times brighter, but you can compare this from no colorblind to Trident Noop 10. A lot of pros use a brightness from around 90% to 120. So for 3D resolution, I use 100%. I wouldn't recommend going no lower than 80%. This does give you more FPS and less input delay. But by dropping your 3D resolution, you're reducing the pixels on your screen. So your game is gonna look really bad. For my view distance, I use medium. I just started using medium so I can see more in the distance. And also to tag players for surge. This won't drop much FPS for you if you're going from low to medium. So I would highly recommend you using medium. Or at least giving it a try. Textures, I use low. For meshes, I do use high, but I did make a video on on that so let's go back into time real quick flashback so to wrap this up if you want more fps low input delay and want the same performance mode from last chapter use low meshes but if you want to try using the new bubble rep builds then use high meshes so yeah there's not too many changes from low and high meshes other than that end of flashback okay now moving on into the game settings we have toggle sprint off sprint by default on sprint cancels reloading off auto open doors you want to make sure you have that on Using auto open doors can save you time. When you're building and you make a door edit on accident, you can just run through the door and it will open automatically. Bolt to swap pickup, I have that on. That's actually a good setting to keep on. Now you can just copy these, but you guys should be taking advantage of the preferred item slots. So having this on can put a certain gun at a certain slot. So I do have my AR and my shotgun as my first and second slot. So if you don't have that on, guns will just go through the slot based off how you pick them up. Disable pre-edit option, I do have this on, but if you do have it off, you have more options. Now for confirm edit on release, I do have that on, but I am going to be turning this off soon, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys why I am going to be turning this off. So if you're taking competitive seriously, I'm going to show you guys why you should have the setting off. So Noah, if you can do your thing. Is there a secret why everyone, every pro doesn't use edit release? Okay, I'm going to show this once forever. Wait, where is it? Confirm edit release. On. Okay, let's see, let's see the right hand peak. I'm here. Want to straight for right hand peak? Oh. Fuck, where did I stand while holding it? Here. Would I die? Yes. Let's let's see it without the edit on release on. Off. Let's see it. Nice. That's the reason. Thank me later. So if you didn't get what he just said, I'm gonna explain it for you. So if you're just trying to be a fast editor, and you have bad keybinds, that's the only reason why you should have that on. But if you switch to optimal keybinds, then that won't be an issue. There are plenty of optimal keybind videos out there, so I'd recommend you checking them out. And then, yeah, he explained how crosshair placement is better when you have that off. Now, moving on onto your sense. There's plenty of ways to find your perfect sensitivity, <clears throat> but I'm going to be giving you guys a range that most players use on 800 DPI. But I would recommend you using a sense from 6.5 to 8.0. Many pros like Benji, Noah Riley, and Booga use a sense from 6.5 to 8.0. 
this is a perfect range of a low to medium sense. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mongrel sound settings. So let's get back into another flashback. Flashback. Okay guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can enable your bass boost sound settings. So the first thing you guys are going to be doing is going to your taskbar and typing in sound settings. Now since we're on this screen, what you guys want to do is go to your sound control panel. Now once you click on your sound control panel, these settings should pop up on your screen. These should be showing you all of your speakers and headsets that's connected to your PC. Now for the speakers or headphones you're using, you need to make sure that it's set to your default device like mine is. What Mongrel and other pro players use is bass boost and loudness equalization. You need to make sure your bass boost setting is highlighted and go to settings. So what you guys want to do is go to your frequency level and make sure it's on 50 hertz and you want to make sure your boost level is at 24 hertz which is the highest one. These are the exact settings Mongrel and any other pro player uses. Now you want to go to your loudness equalization and make sure it's highlighted as well. Now once you click on that, you should see a release time setting. You want to make sure this is set to the third tick just like where mine is. And once you're done with that, click OK. Now we can click on apply and OK. So what this is doing is altering the bass of footsteps and other different sounds on Fortnite, which balances out the sounds so the footsteps aren't louder than gunshots, mainly in end games. These settings can also help you hear other players from farther before. So if someone is sneaking up on you, you'll most likely hear it and you won't just get beamed. All of these settings are giving you a competitive advantage. End of flashback. Alright, and now for the final thing for this video, we're going to be talking about stretched res. I use native res, which is 1920 by 1080 but for less input delay and max frames, you should be using stretched res. There's obviously cons like losing your FOV, but if you're planning on already using stretched res, I'd recommend you using Martaz's res, which is 1656 by 1080 I use native res because I'm a content creator. If you're using all of these optimal settings, this will prevent you from making all of these excuses, and this will help you see what you need to do to fix your gameplay, whether it's your movement or keybinds. I hope you guys found this video both enjoyable and informative. If you guys enjoy this type of content and want to see more in the future, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment what type of videos you want to see me upload. Also subscribe if you're new because it means more than you think. Also if you want to support me, all you have to do is use my code whiteout in the item shop. If you do use code whiteout in the item shop, I'll be giving away more V-Bucks in the future. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys in the next video. Taking off hella fast, I'm a Martian